on the meat now on the meat another sea mullet for the box uh oh we're on there we're on there spiders good cobia candy not a bad eating fish either if you want to spend the time to clean 150 of them hold it out as long as possible make sure you show everybody else that you're catching fish so they'll stop their boat <laughs> also guys I don't know if y'all noticed this but I have a lot when you see other boats getting all together that doesn't necessarily mean that that's where all the fish are hitting a lot of times those people are just sitting there anchored up because they saw a bunch of other people sitting there anchored up and 90 percent of them don't even know what they're doing so know what you're doing before you park up in a group of boats because then the three or four that are actually fishing are crowded <laughs> all right welcome back to mc outdoors uh, me and Jeff are back out here. We're gonna do some cobia fishing. Right now we're trying to catch some bait. Uh, some nice spots about this size here. You gotta be careful though in Virginia now. Uh, you can only keep 50 spots per person, per boat. So uh, we're gonna catch our legal limit in spots and hopefully throw them back on the bottom with some eels and a chum slick and catch some cobia out here at Windmill Point. Um, beautiful today it's five to ten southwest winds south southwest winds uh, it's gonna be hot though it's gonna be about 95 degrees but it's beautiful out here on the bay and uh, we're looking forward to what we might get into we'll see y'all when we're reeling them in anchored up We've got the chum out got the rods out we got eels we got spots and we're just waiting on the man in the brown suit now chum right there sitting on top I'm gonna drop it down to the bottom here in a little bit don't worry it's just a false alarm there's the false alarm all right when he hits I'll turn you back on Exactly. It's a turtle. Holy cow. Jesus. You got any that flyers ready? <laughs> Jesus. We can cut it if we need to. Right here at the mouth of the Rappahannock and the Chesapeake Bay. One of the last things I was expecting to see. Gotta come up for air eventually. Try to keep Fight a turtle for a minute. <laughs> I told you something wasn't right. It didn't take off like a cobia. And then yeah. It... But we've seen them where they don't quite take off. They just sit there with it. <laughs> Pump and wind. Pump and wind. You can cut it. You don't have to worry about the hook. It'll rust up. Oh, that's Thank you for saving most of my rig. <laughs> Alright, we switched up spots. We didn't have nothing but that turtle hitting us. So, uh, we moved down the point a little bit. We 
got the wind and the current going in our direction the way we want it to. Uh, we'll see what happens. I think we might have one. We don't have waited all day for this. So what you do when when we're live lining like this, you let them run with it for a minute, then take it out of live line. That circle hook will do its job. There he is. Hooked up. Finally. You need me to reel in? Looks like it's, 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 it's going to be a short one. But that's our target right there. I missed the whole netting process. For some reason, it turned off. That thing is a baby. All right. 20, 29. Nine. So a little short, but first Kobe of the day. Beautiful fish. Wait a long time to get this. All right. <laughs> Surprised we haven't caught a bluefish all day. <laughs> 